and welcome to Cast of Illusion again. Welcome back. One last level uh, to get some gems in, and it's it is similar to the final level of uh, Mega Drive One. So I'm assuming we're actually going to the castle now, are we? Or is it's a castle type level, but if you remember in the last level of the first game, it was kind of split into a castle, dungeon, and then like the clock tower. This is all just the clock tower, but it's quite a lengthy section. Sort of, in, sort of semi-industrial because we've got drill bits and and gears and Cold, quite clearly plate yeah. steel. And... I, did, I quite like the design of this level, and I mm. quite like the music as well. Apparently, it's a couple of minutes to three. Yeah, well, I'm not sure the clock works anymore. Mm. Now, interestingly, this is one of the levels where you can actually miss the gem quite... One of the gems, anyway, quite easily. Because it's not on the direct path. Oh, it's a, it's a side path one, is it? Oh, dear. Kind of. Um, it's essentially an optional path that you have to take. Also, so, Mickey's butt bounce kind of makes him invincible from the bottom. As long as it's not, like, spikes or anything. Say, what, what are those green things? Are they like, like a... A tower of bolts, or, or what were those? I couldn't tell you. Also, yay, life yay, up. Yay, foil star as well. And also the gem. So it's doubly beneficial to come down this way. And mm. then I go and chuck myself into death. Uh, yeah. Um, but you do get to keep both the gem and your life up, so... Unfortunately, I do begin at the beginning of the level. Uh, as I was saying, I actually recorded this all in one straight run, rather than the um, slight saves coming I might have done for the uh, uh, other one. In, in fact, there is actually a whole about half an hour to an hour's worth of blooper reels for the original Castle of Illusion. Hmm. Which you I, I like the fact that actually on the pendulum there, that the actual physics of the pendulum is accurate, so that the, that the bottom of it goes slightly further than the chain. Yeah. And it pulls a bit, so it's not it's not like stuck center. That's actually really nice. That's like a really nice touch. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I know there was there was a couple of issues with it, the first castle, wasn't there? With, with yeah. recording and sound missing and all sorts of things. Mm, it was more um, me dying a lot. I did. So we've got a nut here, or yep. screw, I should say. Um, yeah, that is actually screw, isn't it? Have you got a flathead screwdriver to actually put this in? Um, well, no, because I'm not using it for that. Oh. Uh, and yeah, thankfully, if you if you stand up while you're ducking under one of those things, you don't die, you just stay stationary. It's a bit weird, but hey, at least it's you're, not You're using your ears to prevent yourself from going any further. Something like that. There's some interesting enemies in this, though. There's me these mechanical bird things are... Unique, if nothing else. I, I, I say that there's something similar in Akami. Actually, <laughs> I've only just been playing. Clockwork penguins. So, yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, unfortunately, the clock tower's obviously broken because all the clocks say the same thing. Mm. You don't. I suddenly got. I suddenly got a flashback to that level in Sonic Colors with the the bouncing platform that goes along the pathway. I can't... Oh, yes, yeah, I do know what you mean. And yeah, I mean, this, again, yeah. none Oof. of the levels in this are particularly hard. The pendulums are probably one of the harder things because they're a bit hard to aim on. A bit. Mm. And you've killed Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast there. Yes. Twice, actually. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't think anyone really cares. Yeah. <laughs> Least of all, Bell. This is a hard, this is a really hard bit actually, because you've got yeah, to basically, wow. you've got to pick up the nut really quickly, and you have to use the nut to kill the little cog mm. thing. But it's a, it's, it, again, it's a nice little touch, considering this is, you know, later level. Difficult, yeah, diff nice difficult bits. And yeah, this time instead of some random bloke, we've actually got something that's vaguely related. A grandfather clock. A grandfather clock. Yes. Yeah. Ah, his, his face fell off. And it's flying around trying to kill you. It, oh, it, actually, that that's a nice touch. The, the uh, time on the grandfather clock space is the same as what the rest of the clock tower has been. Or close enough, anyway. Ah, three o'clock. Mm. 
And somehow the, the pendulum inside is still moving as well. But yeah, again, he's not that... He's actually probably one of the easier bosses because he comes down and kills you. The only difficult bit is he does spawn more enemies. Which... I, I have tried in the past to try and bounce on them to get up to him, but it's so exceedingly difficult it's not worth it. You don't get much of a bounce either if I look for things. It depends on if you hold the jump button down. Um, something I should mention is, uh, obviously the math system only had two buttons. You use one button for jumping and putting your ass down, and mm -hmm. then one button for picking up and throwing stuff. Right, so that's part... that's uh, gems six and seven. Yep, and Collected. so now we can go up to the top floor of the castle. But we'll do that next time, so we'll okay. catch you guys later. <laughs> Bye guys.